The New York Times just published an article. I hired an agent to sell my home. Do I have to pay the buyer's broker now? No, but you've never had to pay the buyer's broker. You've never had to, but it's in your best interest to. Why did you pay a buyer's agent when you purchased the house you're currently in? Did you pay your agent to take you home to home? Did you pay your agent to negotiate on your behalf? Did you pay your agent at all? Nine times out of 10, you're going to say no. And so when you do prepare to put your house on the market, you're going to sit down with an agent and that agent is going to then come to an agreement of, uh, I'll sell your house for 6%. And you sign the documents and say, yes, okay, I accept 6% for you selling my home. That agent then implores upon other agents in the community and says, listen, I'm willing to share my commission with you if you help me bring my seller a qualified buyer. So no, you're not paying anything additional. Nothing extra is coming out of your pocket. Whatever you agree to pay your selling agent, that selling agent is then going to share that commission with a buyer's agent. Well, Taylor, why do I want to share a commission with a buyer's agent? Could your selling agent find a buyer for your home by themselves? Absolutely. Would it take longer? Most likely. Will that mean you spending more money in the form of more mortgage, more taxes, more escrow? Absolutely. And so instead of being selfish as agents, we have cooperative compensation. My seller said they're going to pay me 6%. Buyer's agent, can you please help me get this thing sold? Do you have a buyer for me? And if you do, this is the percentage I'm willing to share my commission with you. And so you've never had to pay a buyer's agent. It was never mandatory for you to do so, but it is in your best interest. I know this is the worst example, but when you go to the store and you purchase that 12 pack of sodas or that 24 pack of beer, do you take it to the redemption center? Here in the city of Boston, we have people that go through our recycling and go through our trash and take those bottles and then redeem those bottles for the money that we could have done for ourselves. We could have kept that money for the for ourselves, but it was in our best interest to just put it in the recycling. And because we put it in the recycling, somebody else got to benefit. And when you purchased your home, you got the benefit of not having to pay your buyer's agent. Do you not want the same? Would you not want the same for your children who are just now up and coming in the market and looking to purchase a home? Would you not want the same for your grandchildren who are facing astronomical prices, need a little help with down payment and closing cost assistance, and then on top of that also need to come up with money to pay their buying agent? It is in your best interest to see this as my agent is sharing compensation with the person who's going to bring me the best qualified highest and best offer for my home it's not as scary as you think it's not as complicated as they're making it I just want you to have all the information so you can make informed decisions and if there's anything else that you need to be confident and move with confidence feel free to reach out I'd love to answer any and all of your questions, and I'd love to help you in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Georgia. T-A-Y-L-A-A-N-D-R-E dot com.